which uh, shade blue is the best one and it also created a high level of friction and in-house tension between engineers and designers. Google decided to adopt the, the data-driven approach and they run a few uh, large-scale experiments and uh, you know finally decided on one shade of blue. Very interesting follow-up. This new shade of blue brings in about 200 million extra dollar per year for Google. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Lei Hua, your favorite data scientist. So in today's video, I want to answer a question. What is the best color? Yeah, you heard me right. What is the best color? In 2009, Google asked a very similar question. Specifically, they wanted to know which shade of blue is the best one for their ad links. In total, they have about 41 shades of blue to choose. And uh, uh, I'm going to post the video and uh, uh, include a picture that has about uh, 10 shades of blue. So which uh, shade of blue is the best one? I'm going to post the video for a few seconds so you have time to think. Okay, do you have an answer yet? Uh, don't worry if you, uh, you know, haven't decided yet. Okay, so uh, this question um, is very difficult to you know, answer. And it also created a high level of friction and in-house tension between engineers and designers. Okay, designers, they wanted to, uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, they thought this is a trivial question and uh, they didn't want to waste any time, you know, testing out the new feature and uh, they uh, argued, um, you know, uh, we, um, they have uh, like other priorities to work on. On the other hand, um, engineers, they wanted to be more data driven and more practical. So, uh, and engineers and designers, they represent two types of uh, thinking when it comes to uh, decision making for the in the in the business world designers uh, they are more uh, intuitive and they believe in an approach called uh, opinion based like uh, decision making okay if they if they want to release a new feature let's rely on uh, you know uh, domain authorities and in this case uh, uh, the domain authorities are the designers okay let's just like designers make the final call okay uh, engineers they represent a more uh, data driven approach okay if they if we want to uh, release any new feature we should actively test it out again using our real users okay and then uh, we should uh, monitor the key business metrics and see how this new feature impacts our business metrics. Okay, so by the end of the day, uh, uh, Google decided to um, adopt the, the data-driven approach and they run a few uh, large-scale experiments and uh, you know, finally decided on one shade of blue that uh, has the highest uh, like um, uh, engagement. Okay, so um, a very interesting follow-up this new shade of blue uh, because this uh, simple um, test uh, brings in about 200 million extra dollar per year for Google wow it's an amazing number 200 million dollars so if your organization is a large scale we all at least mid middle scale mid scale you definitely want to think about your product development like uh, uh, strategies do you run uh, enough experiments have you tested out your new features or do you test out new new features without uh, uh, without collecting any real user feedback so the all of them can be all of these constraints can be vital to uh, to your business because uh, in this case you know in Google's uh, Google's like uh, um, case a very simple change, color change, can bring 200 million uh, extra dollar per year. You know, you, you can think about other uh, like more 
uh, major like a uh, website design redesigns or other types of experiments how this all of other types of experiments together can bring you know to the company so um, it's definitely uh, you know a great time to think about your like product development like uh, strategies do um, do you follow an opinion based approach or do you follow a data driven approach okay that's a big question right and uh, I think it's a, a great question to think about uh, my as for my personal recommendation or preferences I always believe in uh, the data um, driven approach so as so many other data scientists or uh, practitioners you know who uh, work in the uh, AB testing domain because we believe uh, people human beings we are naturally uh, you know uh, biased we have preferences emotions um, and so many other factors that may uh, impact our uh, you know um, judgment so uh, we cannot make very uh, objective decisions when it comes to uh, um, you know software development or product development okay we always think our new feature is going to improve our like um, uh, metrics we always believe our users will like our new feature okay we will never think our new feature will hurt our users i mean this is a uh, such uh like uh, uh, you know long uh, this is a uh, such powerful like uh, thinking because and uh, so many people are uh, you know stick to it and also it's very very difficult to change people's like opinion and uh, another reason is because you know we are living in a world that has a very high level of uncertainty um, so uh, as developers we have uh, a lot of like uh, presumptions about our users we assume our users will behave this way and be based on these presumptions we develop our um, uh, like a code okay we develop our new feature by the time of uh, completion by the time we complete our development work our users may have already changed so if you do not actively test out your new feature and just release it to the to the entire customer the sad reality is you are going to hurt your users even without you knowing it okay it happens to so many large organizations so if you want to avoid this type of mistakes you definitely want to be more data driven to be more uh, practical to be more uh, you know user focused okay so uh, user focus I mean uh, test out uh, test out uh, like your new feature collect data and just observe how uh, how different like uh, uh, user uh, user metrics move okay so this is a called like a data driven approach to decision making okay that's all for today's video and uh, hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions um, concerns or suggestions please do let me know and uh, uh, I will um, you know try my best to read with them and uh, uh, you know uh, consider your uh, like uh, suggestions uh, in my uh, next video okay that's all for today thank you have a great day bye